GitHub Actions makes it really easy to publish your NuGet packages. Let's mash on that. Hi everybody and welcome to another episode of the ASP.NET Monsters. In today's episode, we're going to continue our series on GitHub Actions by taking a look at publishing NuGet packages or nut packs? Nutcakes. Nutcakes, yeah. okay. As they are sometimes referred to. Uh, yeah, so the, the idea today is we're going to continue on the work release workflow that we started to define last time. So if we just take a quick look at that workflow, what we were doing is um, doing a .NET pack to create NuGet packages, those nupkegs, uh, for a couple different projects that are in this solution. And then I was just archiving them up by uploading them as an artifact for that build and left out that last step, which was actually publishing it to NuGet. So I'm going to automate that last step by adding a, a couple tasks to the end here. Uh, <clears throat> there's a couple things we need to do first. Um, in order to publish to NuGet, you need an API key. So just to review how you do that, I'm over in NuGet.org here, signed in on my account. And if I go into my API keys section, I've already created one here that I'm going to use uh, that you can't see, but you would just come in here, say create, give it a name, uh, tell it what scopes. So you need to be able to uh, publish new package versions at a minimum in this case, or potentially even new packages. And you can tell it which packages it has access to. Um, so in my case, I just gave it access to all mine because I'm probably going to use it to uh, replace some of my other builds that I have in AppVayer currently. So I grabbed that API key. I see that API key still expires after 365 days. It does, yes. In the most and useless, unhelpful way possible. Mm -hmm. And my app error one I noticed expires in 14 days. So I guess good timing to <laughs> go and redo this. Um, and then you need to store those secret that secret somewhere inside of uh, GitHub here so that you can re reference it, it from GitHub Actions. So you do that under Settings for the project. And there's a little section here called Secrets. You can see I've already added one called my new NuGet API key. So you come in here, add a new secret, you give it a name, then you paste in your API key or whatever it happens to be here. Then you can reference it from your uh, workflow. Okay, so I already have that all set up. I just wanted to review how that was done. I'm going to come in here and edit my release. And I'm going to add a new task here. Call it publish get package. Okay, the easiest way to do do this because we already have the .NET tooling installed is to just use the .NET NuGet uh, command, which just kind of wraps the the NuGet command line API. So we're just going to do uh, it's going to be very similar to like our .NET pack here. But instead of running .NET pack, it's run .NET NuGet push. I think that I can get away with uh, a globbing pattern here this time. We struggled with that on other instances of this, but I think we it works here. Uh, so API key, this is where I'm going to reference my secret. And the syntax for that is it's just like a variable similar to how we reference these variables here to get the release tag name. But in this case, it's secrets dot. And now I have to remember what I called it. Uh, I think it was API underscore key. Oh, we got it's wrong. Tag. It's a good thing you checked. Good thing. I almost trusted you. Yeah, don't do that. And then the source is Lost my mouse cursor. There we go. I'm looking at a picture of that right now that I can't copy and paste it from. Okay, so .NET NuGet push my NuGet packages. There's my API key to. Uh, 
to, yeah, to nuget.org. I think that should be good. Uh, I don't need to do any other parameters here that I can think of. That should be it. So I should be able to just commit this and run it. I think I got all my tabs and spaces correct here with YAML. Who knows? I don't know until you run it. Yep. <clears throat> it's like the Schrodinger's cat of languages, really. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's see, under actions, that probably kicked off my CI workflow, continuous integration one. Uh, but to do that, trigger that release workflow, I need to go and create a release. Let's go do that and see if it works. So this new release will be 1.1.23. Fingers crossed. And it did trigger one. Appears to be running. At least didn't have a syntax error with my spaces, so that's a that's a win of sorts. Oh, this looks positive. Uh -oh. oh, so close. Oh, this okay. Oh, Snoop hack. So that's the symbols, right? All right. I'm. I guess I'm not generating the symbols. So one solution to this is let me just go and edit this workflow. There's a way to do that from here, but I'll just go the long way. So there's another option here where I can just say no symbols, true. And then I won't look for those symbol packages. This little project's going to have a lot of fake releases in it. Yeah. I'll have to go clean them up. 2 seconds for the build to finish. I think they do run in parallel. Yeah. Huh. Okay. I think that open source projects get free uh Oh hey, it looks like it worked. Oh, excellent. Your package was published, so in Sweet. theory, we should see that shortly from New Year. Yes, we should. There it is. Oh, that's the version that had failed. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Currently validating that one. So I guess that other one had actually still published it, even though it returned that it failed. Um, that's surprising, I guess. Mm. Yeah, I guess they're not kind of like transactional. Yeah, I guess not. But there you go. That's fully automated now as for my release workflow. I actually add features and I'm ready to do a release. I just come in here, create my release. And once I publish it, it will 
I generate the packages for me and push everything right up to NuGet. That's brilliant. Well done. Super easy. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, thanks everybody for joining us on another episode of the ASP Net Monsters. Uh, if you enjoyed the show, please like, comment, and share it. And uh, I really wanted to come up with a joke on that one. I should think of these before I start the show. Uh, and feel free to publish any comments that you have to NuGet. There you go. Yeah. I feel like Carl Franklin, who does similar jokes to this, probably does some like a lot of time ahead of time. Like he mm -hmm. really puts some thought into this, unlikely. It might have also helped if I told you what the show is about before I, no, before no, no. I started. <laughs> no? All right. Well, we'll see everybody next episode. Bye. Bye.